now are Mary Ann and Lindsay. How are you ladies doing today? Great. Good. Good. Thank you for joining us here on the show today. So you guys have an exciting event coming up, Dia of Dyslexia. Tell me a little bit more about that. I love that little kind of play on the words there. What's it all about? Well, I felt like we needed an event to showcase what exactly dyslexia is all about. And Lindsay, who is one of my volunteers, <laughs> she said, hey, I've got an idea for this great carnival type event. So, um, Lindsay. It wasn't, I wasn't really sure if it, they would go for it, but it was just instead of doing things for adults, we want to get the families involved. So we're doing a carnival that has traditional carnival games. Like instead of skee ball, we have the, called, something called like the brain toss. Oh, okay. And we had slime filled balloons and you throw darts at them and you're trying to find like the vampire's heart. But something different for everyone to come out and enjoy it. And we have games for, interactive games for like the families to do. Like um, there's one, build your own scarecrow and you donate $25 to do that. And then they have, we have scary storyteller. And we also have a fortune teller too. Like come in like, oh, you're gonna be reading so many books this year. Or, and then we also have a photo booth with a huge pumpkin behind it. There's just so many things for the kids to do. And I feel like the parents can come in and do the testing and see what it actually is like yeah. with kids with dyslexia. Mm -hmm. And while the parents are learning all the stuff, that all the other kids just go out and have fun and don't have to worry about anything. Don't have to worry about if they're reading or doing math. Mm -hmm. or just a fun way just to rel relax and blow off steam while you're learning about other disabilities like dyslexia. So. Oh wow. And why is it so important to have an event like this? Well dyslexia is very common. It, it's, a, it's a learning disability. It's just a learning difference more than a disability. And uh, one in five people have it. Some are at more serious degree than others. But a lot of people drop out of school because they are not recognized and it's not caught early in in life. So um, we as the JPW Learning Center, that is our main focus is to get the word out about dyslexia, mm -hmm. what you need to do, because it's very frustrating for a parent when you think, oh my gosh, I know my child is mm -hmm. smart, why are they not learning? Right. And this uh, is a way for them to learn how to maneuver the system. So on, while the kids are playing the games, we're going to do these things called simulation exercises where we have adults sitting in like a spooky classroom and they're going to be put through some exercises that a person with dyslexia would deal with in a real classroom. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Yeah. So and that then, way you get to see what it is actually like. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Riding backwards, all kinds of stuff. Um, we'll also have hot dogs for everyone so that, you know, it is a school night and we're not going past 8 o'clock, but we want everybody to know you can still come. You can have a hot dog. You can have some homemade treats because we have some ladies that are baking a lot of cupcakes. Oh, and it's a good thing. <laughs> It'll be go. a great party. And everyone loves food, right? So Absolutely. Going out there for Absolutely. sure. Uh, where is this all going to be happening it's in all what time? It's all going to be at Bentwood. Bentwood Country Club in the uh, main tennis court. And it will be 6 to 8 on Tuesday the 8th. And it's $12 a person. Okay. If you have a family of five or more, it's $50. That's it. So it's a great inexpensive evening you can all learn something and the kids can have a good time yeah there's gonna be lots of activities I'm sure everyone oh, the entire family yes, will be tons. able to enjoy yes. I love that you guys are doing this because you know um, my sister is a dyslexia specialist so it's great to see just other people trying to bring awareness to this right. issue here in the community and it is dyslexia awareness month right? it is yes it is all right there you go so you don't want to miss out on this dia of dyslexia event that will be benefiting the jpw learning center again that will be happening next tuesday october the 8th from 6 to 8 in the evening all of that will be happening at the bentwood country club 12 dollars per person 50 dollars if you have a family of five or more there will be many activities for the entire family to enjoy as well as simulations uh, for those who don't have dyslexia so they can they can know what it really is to right. be in that situation and you don't want to miss out on it it sounds like it's going to be a lot a lot of fun ladies thank you so much for joining us today i appreciate you very much thank, thank you. you i'll be right back after this break